Hey guys, hopped on with a buddy Elite Deadshots. Just wanted to shoot this little thing to you. We were holding this little house down. I go to put some mess mines down. You know, I'm working towards streaks. He's in the house with me with an LMG in the back. I'm rinsing and repeating them. I said, well, someone just set off my trip mine. Let me go check. I said, watch out, it's a shotgun coming upstairs. Wait a minute. No, it's not a shotgun. Oh my god, bro. Are you kidding me? Anywho. So we're coming back again on TDM on World War II. Uh, a couple things I'm hating about, I'm hoping, I should say, that they fix is this right here in the beginning spectator mode don't like how it gives you spectator mode and keeps you in the back of the spawn and meanwhile the team on the other side takes mid map positioning in TDM that's terrible uh, I can't I, I hate that feature about this game dude I wish they wouldn't even have put that feature in this game so that's that's a big issue with me. Uh, one of my biggest look at this triple. Talk to me now. Of course I'm hurt, wounded, and all that good stuff. That's how you want to come in after being spectating mode as a triple right off the bat. So I was like, I want to hold up on this little area here, see what happens. I see a teammate right there. Let me throw a couple concuss. Oh, there's a guy right there. We got an update coming up, guys. Uh, this update is going to include a few buffs and nerfs to a few, few weapons. I heard they're tampering with the shotguns, which I wish they would mess with the toggle shotgun a little bit. And uh, a couple of the other ones maybe buff them. I heard they were going to tweak uh, the combat shotgun a little bit. Uh, I heard there was a huge buff coming to the grease gun. Shout out to the grease gun because... I've got the candy version of it, and I really enjoy it uh, a lot. I'd like to play with it a little bit more. It's just a little underpowered in certain scenarios. So, yeah, that, that buff to the grease gun would be super nice, you know, on a positive note. Um, one of the things I'm hearing rumor they're going to touch or do to it, which I cannot wait because this has been a big major issue with me, uh, enjoying this game and I feel like it even affects your KD uh, is the health regen see me right now they did a test on it right off, like timing it from the time that you get hurt all the way through a gunfight where you're just barely hanging on like that it takes literally eight seconds to completely heal back up guys eight seconds that is a long time in a call of duty game uh, just for an example modern warfare remastered which came out with the uh, infinite warfare game uh, the health regen on that was kind of slow and it was 5.3 seconds guys so to put that in perspective that that is a lot two point something seconds in this kind of game is a lot of time so they really, really, really need to look on re, re, uh, doing the health a little faster. I think you get better gameplays from a lot of people. And people probably enjoy this game a little bit more. Because when you take away someone's health regen and make it real slow, um, that basically makes you stop and have to wait and regen your health. Then keep pushing forward or doing what you're doing. And it throws off the timing of the game. Man, that was bad timing on my part. So let me put some streaks on him for a second. Since he just worked me over like a second job. One thing I need to see that would make this a lot funner too, guys, is if they nerf the snipers a tad. My proposal to the quick scoping, and it's a real simple, easy process that if they quick scope you it takes two quick scopes to make you die not one because if you can 
just quick scope somebody and shoot them, draw up, and hit them like that, it should give them a hit marker and the second time's a death. That's all they'd have to do. They could leave the speed and all that stuff alone, and that would make it a lot more, um, lot more challenging for them is to do do two quick scopes. They'd have to put rapid fire or something on it, but the snipers are really overpowered in this game. Um, so yeah, man. And Elite Deadshots was playing with me on this one. He's he's a new you or new to doing YouTube. Uh, he's been doing it for a while, but he he doesn't have a ton of new videos out. But he's getting them ready, and uh, look forward to watching his content when he uploads it, which will be awesome. Um, Super Aces was playing on this map here. He's another YouTuber I watch, and he got another v2 rocket i think this is like his second time on this map in free for all and he might have four or five v2 rockets already and speaking of v2 rockets of people who i've been watching getting v2 rockets uh which is awesome and i'm supportive i i love watching those kind of gameplays they inspire me to get better uh noob tube sweaty uh if you guys haven't checked him out it's uh noob n-o-o-b then the number two, and then the word sweaty. And um, he's dropped five, six, no, maybe more than that, guys. I may be under, under saying he's done of quite a few. And if you'd like to check out some of his videos, go over to his channel and, and see what he's offering as far as uh, content. He puts up all kinds of different games. If you're not into just Call of Duty, say you like other games, he plays those kinds as well, and he does extremely well playing this one. So that's another one. Um, my buddy who always does this, and he's got a ton of V2 rockets too, uh, is Ninja Dilly. Uh, if you haven't gotten a chance to go by and check him out, go by. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Go by and check him out. Uh, he has several V2 rocket gameplays. Flawless gameplays, um, great uh, videos. He does all kinds of different uh, openings of different things uh, that they'll present and show. Uh, and uh, just a really great guy. And I uh, hope you guys will go by and check him out. Uh, that's Ninja Dilly. And um, he's one of the reasons I basically got into doing this in the first place. And so now I'm just trying to put some videos up for you guys show you a couple gameplays that I do throughout you know my gaming experience with Call of Duty and then you know maybe you can learn from my mistakes if anything else because boy do I make a bunch of them um, I can't even get this thing to work for me man I feel like I'm drunk in that plane if they would just slow that plane coming down to the map guys oh my goodness that thing would be such a great kill streak but because it flies in so fast and goes away so quick and it doesn't really allow you to look from the left and right, it's just kind of a straightaway thing. It, it just limits what that score streak could actually be. I'm kind of depressed with, uh, or not depressed, I'm kind of uh, disappointed is the word with um, uh, Sledgehammer Games because if you guys remember Advanced Warfare, they brought us... Uh, uh, score streak variations. I can't believe they didn't put it in this game. Uh, you know, you could, for a few extra more kills, you could buff your score streak up and make it better. And I just thought that they would would have done that on this game, but for some reason they didn't. And that's really disappointing, is the word I was looking for. Well, that's that. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That's a me basically playing on uh, Gibraltar with my boy Elite Deadshots and uh, if you guys enjoyed it leave a thumbs up I'll be getting more videos out to you I'm on time guys and I'm out